Outbreak control starts with the detection of a problem using the public health surveillance system. Surveillance helps to identify emerging problems and intervene early to prevent spread of the disease. Public health uses a number of methods for surveillance. The one that all clinicians should know about is the reportable disease system. The clinician plays an important role in this system by reporting certain specified diseases and situations, generally without waiting for laboratory confirmation. Other methods of surveillance include, for example, sentinel surveillance, which uses information on specific diseases from a variety of collaborating health services. A third would be the use of tracer conditions. These are related to the disease in question, but are easier to track. For example, hospital admissions for hip fractures may indicate underlying trends in osteoporosis. Once a problem is identified, the question is whether it is an outbreak or a chance of happening. We answer this by gathering some basic data about when, where and who is affected, and the possible links between cases. These data are checked against what we know about the usual occurrence of the disease. If we decide it is probably an outbreak, we investigate. First, a descriptive analysis, starting with case finding according to a case definition. This case definition is a set of criteria tailored specifically to what we know of the outbreak. We search for all cases that fit the definition, describe them in time, place and person, and search for common risk factors. In outbreaks of suspected transmissible disease, an epidemic curve may be drawn to give clues to the type of source, how the disease is transmitted, and the incubation period. We can investigate further using an analytical approach. Cohort or case control studies designs may pinpoint where the problem lies. For instance, the potato salad or the contaminated well. We can then use the criteria of causality to confirm our suspicions, such as laboratory testing of food and water samples to confirm contamination. After that, further inquiries are made to discover how the source became contaminated. The epidemiological triad can be used to investigate how the outbreak happened and then to plan control measures. Once implemented, control measures are evaluated. The service to surveillance system may be used to provide evaluation data. For instance, it can show if the number of cases has gone back to normal levels.